This message is about to resonate hard with a lot of you. And I'm feeling this heavily myself right now. Uh, heavily. From the things happening. From the things that's been said. The amount of messages, emails, DMs. I hope majority of you don't have to experience this because it's crazy. The backstabbing, bro. <clears throat> it's got to stop. But will it ever? Will it ever? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Here's the thing. The people who ride with you are always going to turn. They're always going to turn. <laughs> At some point. The people who ride with you are always going to turn. All that you've done. All that you've done for them. There comes a point... where they just throw you up under the bus. I honestly don't even know how else to explain it. It's just what happens. They love you while they loved you. It's like some crazy toxic ex or some shit like that. There comes a time where it stops. Because they're not loyal. All you've done for them that's what you get. The story of my life. The story of probably a lot of your guys' lives as well. That's why it's resonating so hard right now. The things that's been happening recently. It's just foolishness, bro. Everybody ha tell, if it has the need to tell you how they feel about you all of a sudden. Like, what is going on? Oh, you're this, you're that. Bro, you was the one that pretended to be my friend. You was the one that pretended to be my friend. And then you completely turned. I've done nothing to you. But this is how they are. They're all like that. <clears throat> all the backstabbing bums are like that. They're all like that. I'm never going to stab you in the back, bro, for no reason. You're going to have to do some real, 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 real crazy shit for me to do that. But people are so quick to put that knife in you, bro, for all you've done for them. So quick. Because they don't need you no more. Because they don't want to be in your life no more. It takes a real man, it takes a real woman to just distance yourself from a person in a non-toxic way. You don't have to be forced to be in anybody's life you don't want to be in. Nobody can force you to do anything, but it's the way you do it. Me, along with a lot of people that I've ever come across in life, some of us split apart and there was no ill will. We could see each other right now. We could see each other tomorrow. It don't matter. And there's going to be that genuine conversation that's going to come up. It's not going to be like you're looking at that person like they've ever done something to you. Nothing has ever happened. But it's these legitimate backstabbing bums that when they don't need you no more, they're going to stab you in the back and exit your life. That's what they're going to do. Too much of this is happening today. So many people I have helped that have talked like they would have been in my life forever. Do a complete 180, bro. 
then they'd be sending you death threats saying the most craziest stuff and it's just it, it's it's insane it's literally insane and you've nothing even happened nothing happened nothing nothing happened But this is how some people be. The people you were once friends with before could all of a sudden want to fight you for no reason. You've done nothing. Now they want to fight you. Nothing even happened. I mean, if things happen, things happen. But nothing even happens and then your own people want to fight you all of a sudden? Or say they want to fight you. But then you see them in real life. And they freeze like Elsa. Oh my god. He's right there. That's what these same bums on the internet are like. They act like your friend bro. While, while, you're, while you're hot. While you're the hot shot. While you're on your hot streaks. And there comes a point where they turn. And they stab you in the back. For all you've done for them. For all the inspiration. That's your, that's your thank you. Because they're going to move on now. And you know what these frauds are going to do? They're going to go to other people. Praise them. Oh my God, you helped me so much. Thank you so much. And then there's going to come a day where they stab them in the back as well. I've seen these same people do this to other people. And then come to me, acting like my friend, pretending to do this. And then stab at me in the back and then they go to other people. They're like a crazy ex-girlfriend, bro. You're no better. You're no better. You're just going to go to the next and the next and the next. You have no respect. Bro, the craziest shit could literally happen. And I'll find a way to forgive somebody to make it work. I'm a very forgiving person. I'm not one to hold grudges. I'm not. And I'll settle things too. It don't matter. Things could heat up. Settle things. Whatever. I'm all about that. I've... Bro. I was in full-fledged arguments. With some of my better friends before. Telling them I'm about to throw you through this wall. But... I'm about to throw you through this wall. Oh, if you do that, I'll call the cops and all this stuff. Da, 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 da. And then a half hour later, it's all good. Because you settle things. It's okay to have some beef. It's okay for things to get stirred up. It's about settling things. It's not about being a little pussy. And things go one way and, oh my God, you're this, you're that. Stab you in the back and... This is who you are. You're the enemy. Oh my God. Be a forgiving person. Have your beef. Then move on. You can have beef. Like I said, you can have arguments. Things can happen. Things can flare up. But there comes a time where you got to let that shit go. That's life. It's normal. But to stab people in the back row and just walk off. It's a little bit crazy. And this shit's been happening to me my whole life. My whole life. And then there's people. I can have arguments with. And then we're cool. The type of person I am. And the type of... It, and it takes two. It takes two. The type of person I am, bro. I can never just not end up good with somebody. That's just who I am. The type of person I am and the type of people some others are, which they're rare, you just know no matter what happens, you're going to be on good terms with this person because you're that person and it takes another person to make that connection happen. But for all these other backstabbing bums, it'll never be that way. Because that's who they are. Losers. And that's why they do what they do. That's why they take things too far. That's why they be threatening your life and then...
they, they're, they're nowhere to be seen. Because they're cowards. They're pussies, bro. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with having an argument or something like that. That's life. People argue. Things get heated. Things flare. But if you're that type of person, you will forgive. And there's far too many cowards in this world who will stab you in the back and never let it go. And that really is an enemy. There's people that stab me in the back that way. And unfortunately, they're enemies. Not, not by my decision. That's their decision. And you know what's funny? When you see these enemies, they freeze. They just want to go about their life that way, bruh. But when they see you in real life, when it comes to the real shit, they freeze up like Elsa. Because they know you could steamroll them, bro. They can say whatever they want. When it comes down to it, bro, you could legitimately steamroll them. And they know this deep down. They know this. That's why I can't stand these motherfuckers, bro. I can't stand them. If people have done good things for you, and you're so quick to stab them in the back, you don't want nothing to do with them no more. You're going to stab them in the back. You're going to say this and say that. What? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Thanks for all the inspiration. What is that? You can argue. You can do those things. That's fine. That's life. I have to keep repeating myself, repeat myself here. But to just hold that grudge. It's just stupid. I can have beef with anybody, bro. I can have beef with whoever. If it comes down to it, it comes down to it. You're going to settle it. Things are going to be said. Things are going to happen. I can still forgive. That's the person I am. There's no reason not to. But if they want to keep that mentality stabbing you in the back and we're not cool and all this bullshit, then now they're the enemy because they made you the enemy. I don't have enemies because, oh, this person did this to me. My ex did this to me. I have these enemies. Not one person in the world am I this way towards. Yes, people have done me wrong. The people who have done me wrong the most, I've seen them in real life, and things happened, things were said, things were crushed. Bro, I'd be the one feeling bad for someone who did me dirty, for me like rejecting them or something now. I'd be the one feeling bad for that, and I shouldn't. But that's the person I am, bro. Literally. And like I said, if things happen, I'll settle it. I can get mad too. I'm a human being. When things happen, things happen. You have to handle it. And you have to settle things the right way. But all these bums on the internet, bro, all this kind of crazy stuff going on, no one who has a big following understands what it's like. We have people all over our channel, bro, and we see a lot of people, and we remember a lot of people. And these people be messaging and emailing us sometimes, bro, saying the craziest stuff for no reason. And that's why I always tell you guys, be prepared. Because the people who you think you're rocking with forever, who, thinks that you're, who you think they're on your side, they be, they be the ones turn, bro. And they will turn. When they want to, they will. They'll make you the enemy because they're bitter little bum haters. That's what they're going to do. They'll probably start threatening your life or something like that. Because they're little brokey bitch bums. And they mad. They mad at you, bro. Stuff like that happens to me all the time. People who once, oh, they were so on my side. I got your back, da 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 da. Do you? <laughs> you literally don't. You never did. 
And that's why it's hard to get close to most people today. It's tough. That's why you gotta make sure you know who you're dealing with. I like to see people in real life, bro. I wanna see who you are. Cause I love that shit. I'm not trying to stare you down or nothing like this. I just want to live life. I just want to go through a day with you. If we're boys, we're boys. If we're not, it's going to be known. Because I know what's what. And I'm just sick of these filthy animals behaving recklessly. You need to get put back in your cage, boy. That's what needs to happen to these people. And I know a lot of you guys can relate. There's something so crazy about this kind of stuff. It's just so hard to trust people, bro. I don't need to put all my trust in these types of people, man. I, I enjoy the times. That's, that's the positive times. Amazing. But I'm not like, oh yeah, this person's on my side. And when they turn, it's like, oh, the horror. Oh my God. Some bum from across the world turned on me. Oh my God. It's ridiculous. But if you think, <laughs> if you think you're really doing something and we didn't expect this to happen, you're out of your mind. Is it ridiculous? 100%. Is it unfortunate? 100%. But we see things like this coming, bro. It's happened too many times. When it happens, it's almost like, yeah, it was bound to happen. But on their end, it is crazy, bro, how they can turn like that. And there's literally no reason for it. You didn't say nothing to them. They just felt the need to act this way. They just feel the need, oh, they might stop effing with you now and they're gonna tell you how they really feel because they were bum haters the whole time the reason why they even talked to you or anything like this bro is because you were probably on a hot streak they felt they need to come in to feel that importance of your life and then to dip when you're no longer convenient for them and they be going to different people bro trying to trying to suck their energy because they ain't got none they ain't got no life momentum. They're just bums. They go to every other creator, bro. Let me take some inspiration here, some inspiration here, and, then let, and there's nothing wrong with taking inspiration from different creators, but if you're gonna go to different creators and stab each one in the back after you got what you want, you're a bum. You are a bum, you got no respect. And the funny thing is, is when we're gone, they'll only realize then the value that we genuinely brought. That a lot of people in the world can, bro. A lot of people in the world can't do what we do. If you can, then do it. You might be able to do it, but you can't do it good. A lot of people can't. And we will be the ones that they look back and say, damn, that person really brought it. That person really brought some good times to the table, wow. It's similar, like an ex-girlfriend or some shit like that. When it's gone, they think, wow, that was amazing. Where is it now? It's no longer there, and you can no longer have it. Because you took it for granted, and now it's gone. Just like when one day, because the day is going to come, where we will be gone. We're not going to live forever. And they'll be like, damn, we really took them for granted. We were a little bit too spoiled. We had a little bit too much. Yeah, it will happen. They're no different than these toxic motherfuckers, bro. They're no different. That's who they are. They're backstabbers, bro. 
benefit here, benefit there, benefit there, benefit there. And when I feel like it, when I don't want to F with them no more, I'm going to tell them how I really feel, stab them all in the back. Because that's how I feel. All the value you've ever gotten, and that's how you repay us. You better apologize. Or you ain't a real one. You ain't a real nothing. You ain't no real man. You ain't no real woman. You a bum. Bum.